so students uh, now we know that we have to have a database and tables and uh, the different model and approaches now in this module i will talk about that how do we create and set up a database okay and how do we populate that database right and then what are the different data types specific data types for example with reference to the time and date and then this very interesting data type which is the timestamp what timestamp does it automatically okay it automatically stores the date and time of the event and that of course is very helpful when we would like to know what happened at what time so let's first look at the module coverage over here so setting up the database and the binary attribution collations collations means that what will be the precedence okay of processing a character i will give you the example and of course you will understand for example a comes before b but what if there is the capitalization of the characters i will talk about it then is the unique constraint unique constraint means that uh, non repeating rows must only be shown only once row from a table the anum data type anum data type is that what are the values from which a selection can be made there are many many benefits of this approach so i'll talk about it and of course the time stamp data type which which i have told you which automatically records the time and the date of the event so let's go into more details so let's see how the things are going to be working over here so we first of all set the my set the database the my database this has already been created okay this is already been created now we create the table the table for the members and we have so id of the member which is auto increment it means that you don't have to give the new id every time okay then you have this var chart which we have discussed binary which we will be discussing and uh, there is special data type which is the password first name last name we will go through all of them okay so we have this members table and we have this access log we are looking at that soccer example okay we are looking at that soccer example which we discussed before so we have this member id and page url i'll talk about what it means okay and this is for that soccer and this is about this other example also and this last access of the url so now we start inserting into this database insert into members what parky okay and then look at their interest over here and then we about this member mary and so on this of course you look at this password is not being shown the password is not being shown okay and then there the interest of the members okay so you see then you are inserting right and this is the into the access log these things are going to the access log so this is how we are going to populate our database i believe things should be clear now how the database is going to be populated so binary attribute and collation case in sensitivity of the collation it means that a uh, capital a and capital b and a and b if you compare them together they are going to be treated same with the collation but when we put the binary with it then there is no case in sensitivity with without with with insensitivity this is going to be the sequence a b and then the capital but once we use the binary then we know that first is the lower case and then is the capital so you see that they are different they are they are not the same they are not the same okay i believe you understand this you have to actually uh, run this and enter this and then you will understand then of course uh, if you have if if there is no case in sensitivity and there is a person with the username john that person can also log in with the capital j with the capital j versus which 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 are not the same they are not the same right but when there is case in sensitivity the user can log in with the capital j username and a lower case j username also and they will think that maybe they have two accounts so over here we have to ensure that they are case sensitive all right 
n is the unique constraint okay unique constraint means if if you look at these two are the same these two are the same right unique means of course the contents of that column are going to be unique but the unique is not primary because unique key can be with the null but the primary key cannot be a null there can be multiple columns with unique values right but there can be only one column which is the primary key because of, of the primary key we are going to access and retrieve the data quickly okay and the examples could be username the usernames are unique and uh, people are not allowed to have the same username email addresses are also unique these are the examples of unique okay but these are not the primary key primary key can be id okay a certain user id which is usually numeric also this is also numeric because the numeric processing is fast we are looking at the performance also and then is the enum data type with the enum data type what we have is that we have a variety of values we have variety of values and only among those values a value can be selected for example the gender can be either male or female the favorite gender which is for the movie which is for the movie data uh, movie database okay we can have a romantic movie science fiction and so on so the benefit of the enum approach is data validation only either this can be selected or this can be selected or this no other value can be selected this is for the validation and it saves space also how it saves space instead of storing the horror gender or the romance or the thriller maybe over here number 7 is stored maybe over here number 9 is stored so that takes care of the space tremendous saving of space but remember that if theoretically over here we can have 65000 enum values but usually after 20 values it becomes very difficult it becomes unwieldy all right so finally the time uh, the, the time stamp data type the the time can be stored as as recording okay but over here we are looking at time stamp this is this all is automatic this is automatic okay and it stores the event tracking the actions there is some issue also over here over here that it uses this you uh, it, it it uses that format to store the time which is similar to gmt right so there is no big issue but when the server changes the time storage format then the data which was stored using the time step earlier that may not give correct results so you have to be careful about these issues you should be uh, aware of these issues right or not 